I've got to torque this head down to 90, 95 foot-pounds, starting in the middle. I'm going to take it up to 21st. And since I've got the lump ports in, I've got to use a 3 8 hex adapter on the, on the shortened head bolts that go through the lump. So I'm going to work in a spiral pattern starting in the middle, going clockwise. 20. 20. 20. Come to another intake port. This is intake port for number five and number six and this socket is very tight in the hex. I gotta work it out. This stand is a little unsteady, so I'm pulling toward the back rather than pulling sideways on it. I don't think it's weak, it's just wobbly. Alright, I'm going to take it up to 50 on this round. These are the old head bolts. I looked at them closely, uh, cleaned them up with a wire brush, and oiled them. I believe they're in good shape still. I know some people are saying you should never reuse them, but I don't believe they've been hurt by any corrosion or anything. They look fresh. And since these bolts are not taken past yield, I don't believe that uh, they are lost any strength. I'll probably leave these front two head bolts since there's not a whole lot of material down in here, even though there's more than on the 250 engine. This is the 292, so it's got a lot of meat up in there. But I probably won't take it up to 95. They recommend tightening these two at 85. The block has a tendency to crack on these two corners. All right, so. From 50, I'll probably take it up to 75 and then do one more after 75.
Okay. Take this up to 75. Okay, final. 90, 95. Right there. may come back and retort these heads after it runs a, a few miles. One place said that you don't really have to worry about that on street engines, just for competition, but I don't think it hurts it at all. Might be the difference between a blown head gasket and one that holds. We'll stop at 85 on this, or 90, there's 90, 90, and these can go a little bit more. There we go, all torqued.